What is up guys and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be building a blog. Okay, I'm going to show you how can you build a blog. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a subdomain name. You have to log into your cPanel. I'm going to enter my password and it will take me to my portal basically. Okay, I want to log in to my portal and then we're going to see how this is going to look. There we go. We are in the portal right now and I want to just click here and I want to hit launch cPanel. So we basically want to create a subdomain name that will be s2.completewpcourse.com. Okay. And after that, we need to install WordPress in it. So I'll just do that just right now. Okay. And then you'll see how this is going to work. Work. I'm going to go to the subdomains right here. Okay. And I want to create a new subdomain name that will be s to dot complete wp course dot com and my sub this is going to be sub underscore domains okay and then slash and then um s2 dot complete wp course dot com cool what i want to do right now i want to just come here and i want to hit create so it's going to create this right now and now what we want to do, we want to install WordPress in it. So what we have to do, we have to install the latest version. So the latest version has been released. Okay, what I want to do, I want to go to the download section. You can see that every video that I have created right now is here. I want to go to the compressed one. I want to hit this and I also want to go to the WordPress right here. So I just want to shift and delete. And I want to install, I, I want to download the newer version. So I'm going to go to wordpress.org and then I want to download that version. Let's come here and let's click download. Let's click this and it's going to be downloaded. So it says add uh, the duplicate file with the number file name. Okay, here we go. I want to come here and I want to hit start download. So it's just downloading this. We have to wait for this till this is downloaded. And I want to go to the files right here and I want to go to the file manager and I want to upload that file. Okay. So don't install this with the installer. Okay. Always try to make sure that you install it with this so that you don't have to create multiple databases. Okay. And multiple databases slow down your hosting. So make sure that you run only one database and then everything is managed under that database. So I want to go to the subdomains right here and here is a subdomain name that will be s2. Um, this.com. I want to hit open folder. Okay. And there we go. I want to just uh, extract it. Let's hit extract here. Cancel. Let's hit um, extract. Extract to this. Okay. So it is extracting right now. After this is extracted, I want to show you how this is going to look. So here should be WordPress 4.9.1. I want to open this up and I want to select it all and I want to hit um, add to archive. And I want to select the zip. So you basically need WinRAR for this. If you don't have it already, you can go to winrar.com and you can uh, just download this WinRAR software. So this is used for just zipping and unzipping. Okay. Now this should be done. I want to go to this right here and I want to hit upload. So where's upload? Oh my God, I cannot see it. This is here. Here it is. Okay. I want to hit select file and I want to go to the downloads right here. I want to go to the compress right here and here should be WordPress, WordPress and WordPress.zip. So this is being uploaded. When this is uploaded, I'll show you how we can extract it. So you guys already know it. So make sure that you try installing it with this method. Okay. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit extract right here. Extract files. Okay. And I want to hit close. So this should be right here. We have to refresh this first. Reload. There we go. I want to come here and I want to hit delete. Um, script trash and permanently delete confirm. So you can see this is done right here. Um, I want to go to this, my s2.80, s2 com. So if this doesn't open up, we have to wait for some time to access that because um, when we create a subdomain names, it approximately takes 30 minutes, one hour or it sometimes is done instantly. So we have to see if this is up and running. 
okay we have to wait for some time this is showing the 404 page not found right now but we have to wait for something like uh 10 minutes or something like that and when it will be done i'll show you how this is gonna look but first let's go to the my sql database and then we need to integrate these databases. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna install this on this database. You can see that we have the CWP course. We also have the username. And so when this is done, I'll be back. Okay, so I'll just try it, try it, try it, try it. And when it is done, I'll show you how this is gonna look. Okay, so I'm just pausing my video right now and I'll install WordPress and I'll be back. Okay, so guys, you, know, you can see that it is done. Um, I have to just hit select English United States. I want to hit continue and I have to just hit let's go. So I want to add that database name. I have to come here and I have to just copy this database name. And I want to come here to config. I want to come here and I want to paste it. Okay, same like this. I want to come here to username and I want to come here. I want to copy this. I want to paste it right here. Okay, now I want to copy my password. Okay, and then I have to add the database host and then this will be WPS2. Okay, and now I'm just pausing my video. I'll enter my password and then I'll hit submit, okay? Okay, so guys, it says, all right, Sparky, you've made through the part of installation. I'm gonna hit run the installation and now you can see that our website is totally done. So we don't need these stuffs right here. I wanna come here to site titles. My site title is going to be um, a best blog, okay? And my username is going to be this. My password should be, and my email address should be here. Let's hit install WordPress, and there we go. We are right here. I want to hit log in, and now here I have to log on to my website. So I'm going to enter my username, and then I'll have to enter the password. And there we go. You can see I am here in the installation tab. So here, we, what we have to do, we just have to move with that Ocean WP team because Ocean WP team is awesome. Okay, but since we will now be focusing on building a blog based website, okay, we want our first page to be the full blog. Okay, we will be editing that completely. I will also show you that how can you make, how can you get the pro version and make amazing things with that uh, pro version. Okay, so let's go to the appearance and then let's go to teams and we basically want to go with that Ocean WP team. I'm going to hit add new and I want to search here and this is going to be Ocean WP. There we go. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit install. You can see it's being installed and I want to hit activate right now. So after clicking the activate, this team should be activated. I'm going to hit begin installing plugins and we want to install this right now. I'm going to hit install. I'm going to hit apply and it should be installed right now. Okay. I want to go to the dashboard and let's go to the plugins right here. And you can see these plugins are also activated. So there we go. What we want right now, we want to go to the discussion tab right here or the reading tab. And we want to create these home pages. So we will create that later on. But first, let's come to the permalinks right here. And let's select the post name. Let's hit save changes. And there we go. We are done. And we also want to focus on these, uh, these servers, these things that says plugins and sorry the, the the appearance and the menus so we want to work on the menus right here okay and this is going to be menu one i'm going to hit create menu and i want to add these links later on so let's create a pages and let's assign that to menu and then we are going to work so i'm going to go to the all pages right here and i want to hit add new and there we go. What I have to do right now is that I need a home page. So for this, I want to hit add a home page right here. And I want to hit publish. I need another page as well. And that is going to be all posts. All posts. So it's it's going to have all the posts that we have um, on our blog. Okay. We also want about, about page. That will be about this blog. Okay, I'm going to hit publish right here. 
and you can see this about is also done. So this is taking me to Elementor. I don't know why, what I clicked. Okay, I want to go to all pages right here and see if our about page is done. Okay, I need to publish this. I want to go to the edit section right here and I want to hit publish. So this is also done. We have our home about and the stuff right here. I also want one more and that will be the contact page. So contact. So we basically want to create a blog. We basically want to create a blog. Okay, let's hit publish. And now you can see that we are done. So let's go to the settings right here. Let's go to the reading. Okay, and let's select the aesthetic page and let's select the home page to be our home and the post to be all post. Okay, I want to hit save and there we go. We're totally done right here. If I just go to the visit type, you can see this is looking like this. Okay, and if I just go to the blog page, the all dash post, all dash P-O-S-T-S. So this is how my blog page is looking. Okay, you can see this is how it is looking. So now we're totally done with this. We're gonna first um, add some posts to our website. Okay, I'm gonna show you how can you add post. And then after adding the post, we have to work on our homepage. We'll design our homepage and we'll design our every page and we'll make this website look amazing. So thanks a lot guys and goodbye.